All right, so you want to know how to add those glowing uh, white outline border that normally people use on their YouTube thumbnails or Facebook post to add click-through rates and engagement. If you are a YouTube influencer and Instagram influencer, or if you're doing some work online and you're used to creating posts, then <clears throat> these glowing outline borders will really increase your engagement and click-through rates, especially on your YouTube thumbnails. Now let's just look at examples on my YouTube channel here. Now you see this some of the you see the border around this guy uh, is called Matt. The white border, those borders increase click through rates. So I'm just going to show you how to create those uh, glowing outline borders or white seal holes. Now other examples are here. You see this lady has used those white borders. Um, let's just look at more examples. So there there is this also this football. Uh, football posters use those white borders so these borders they can be white they can be blue they can be green really increase your uh, click-through rates when you are dealing with with people clicking through your youtube uh, videos or posts or whatever you're doing outside there all right so if you don't have a canva uh, account please click the link in the description below it's a free link. Your Canva is free. The free version works quite well. You can just get started for free right away so that you can create some of these amazing free uh, thumbnails and, and Facebook posts. All right. Now, if you don't, if you feel like upgrading, then there's the, the upgrade is also fairly affordable. It's only around $12, I guess, per month. And with $12, you have up to five people using the same account so imagine how good is that with twelve dollars up to five people using account and with that with the paid version you are capable of unlocking much much more features around canva all right so if you if you're ready let's get started on how to create this white border outline all right so we're here at my canva account i've logged in and i'm in the editing window so let's say we want to have this girl here and we want to create those white seal holes around her so i'm just going to click on her there let me just first remove this because i don't need this background uh, images and text so quickly i'm going to remove this to make our easy so then bringing bring her to the center there so this girl is shouting through the mic so let's see how you can create a nice borderline around this lady all right so first of all what you want to do you want to highlight her there and then click here on effects so come to effects then here background remover so this will remove the yellow background so if you click on this it is going to remove for you the yellow background All right, so canvas removed for us the background now this lady just exists here by herself with no background which is amazing and this is exactly what we want uh so the next thing you want to do is again once you've highlighted this lady just come back to uh here you see here it's written duplicate page don't click on this don't click on this this will duplicate the entire page we want to duplicate only this image so you come on this so remove don't click on this click on this one here then duplicate so click on that it duplicates that now unfortunately that's duplicated plus the other yellow uh, a feature so it's so simple I also just remove this so just click on that and then it removes for you there also this other yellow uh, color background voila we have now two images with no background and this is exactly what we want so I'm going to come here and then I'm going to match them like that so once you've done that just come here to effects okay let's see come here to effects then once you're at effect let me just do that again effects now you see here written do tone so here under do tone for the first time when you meet this you won't be able to see all these other features on do tone what you want to do is click on do tone and then go and click connect down there you're going to see a button called connect so then you're going to connect to do tone all right so once you connect to do tone it's going to come out like this and then you want to click see all and then you're going to come down to the last one here called classic okay so we've clicked on we've applied click on we've applied classic there all right so the next thing you want to come here to adjust okay so click here on adjust and then on brightness you're going to click to to adjust brightness to the maximum on contrast you're also going to adjust contrast to the maximum 
okay and then saturation saturation i don't know this maximum 100 yeah so maximum 100 100 for brightness and contrast then saturation to negative 100 all right so once you do that now it's very easy just come here to position and then you say back okay but let's just bring it back again just before i take it back let me just undo that uh, i want to see the there so this is what we have so what you come and do here now is you adjust this because i wanted to fill up that so also adjust this a bit and then you come here position and put it back all right you can't see that because of the color of the background color here so let me just change this background color so i click here come here let me change that background color to black exactly so let me just remove these texts don't worry about this sorry about that so i'm just going to remove that so here we are we are almost halfway through already it's coming out so nicely so what you want to do just add keep on adjusting these images until it, it come out to what you want it to come so that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to try and remove that there bit. okay and then we'll try and move uh, like that uh, let's see so just keep trying moving her until you reach a point that you no, no, no so i'm going to remove so something like that just turn this a bit voila there you have it so it's simple like that to create this borderline white borderline around uh, your images and this will really increase your click-through rates so you can just go ahead continue editing moving these images until you reach a point that you want even if you want to make this borderline as as thick as you want now hopefully you got some huge huge content and value from this video and please uh, do us a favor and hit the subscribe button and please comment there that i subscribe kindly once you hit the subscribe button comment i subscribe we are going to continue to produce for you huge amount of content for free to help you in your business and your online journey i have two links below please you can click on that link and join canva for free today otherwise let's let's meet in the next video tutorial thank you for now